achieving a realistic metal is sometimes uh, a challenging thing but unless until you know these filters your life is going to be hard so let's know these filters which can actually make our metals look so easy and simple so i would like to start with this particular model which is a sample file from substance painter so i'm going to take a new layer here and it's very simple i'm going to increase the metalness and then choose the suitable roughness there as per the aging and wear and tear once that is done just go to the filter section and in the filters we have a list of metals here and we'll just explore them uh, this one is the brushed metal we have uh, uh, some uh, lens camera effects i'm going to switching it off by clicking on this button and then a vignette and the glare options are off right now now i'm going to choose the um, metal and then increase the roughness and then slight uh, change in the overall color and values once that is done i go to the brushed metal and then you should able to see the intensity of the brush uh, effect what you have on the metal uh, the material properties again can be changed as per your requirement i'm not uh, spending time on that but you should able to see you got that nice grain here with a slider and how uh, long or short you want that uh, overall length to be all that can be achieved in simple uh, you know slider you can also rotate and give that nice angle to the anisotropy achieved by this brushed metal effect uh, i just go here and then just click and then see the other metals we have a nice uh, galvanized steel pattern you have the flake intensity and then scale and you should be able to see that awesome looking galvanized metal sheet uh, so you could also add uh, your custom textures here if you want uh, unless until uh, if you don't like but I, I think this is really cool at this point I could uh, I would like to choose the next one which is a graining and then we got the scale option and the intensity this looks like a very uh, hard metal um, <clears throat> there are uh, only two options here again uh, you can just choose uh, a random seed and then you can enable triplanar projection if you have any issues in seams uh, if you have the uv layout running through the model uh, then we have uh, so this is the grainy metal and this one is the grinded one and you should be able to see those nice lines over the model and you have uh, the grind intensity and the scale option again you can enable triplanar projection if you have uv seam issues then we have this beautiful hammer pattern okay uh, we see this in very traditional brass utensils you can just go there and change the color to the brass and then you should be able to see that nice uh, hammer pattern okay uh, the, the traditional way of hammering uh, metals uh, they hit hammers continuously and they create this nice pattern over uh, the metal so we have that and then we have uh, this one which is uh, uh, circles again the circles is having the scale i'll just choose uh, the color to the gray and then you should be able to see uh, it looks pretty normal in this case whole size can be controlled and intensity of the holes can also be controlled and we have the scale of the holes uh, this this looks uh, uh, good on sci-fi panels uh, especially when you're doing any futuristic uh, model and you want the metal to be uh, looking interesting then go uh, go with this particular filter okay and then we have uh, coated texture okay this is also a galvanized steel uh, sheet this looks awesome again uh, you can explore the intensity and the scale size okay you have custom flake and triplanar mapping options you can enable those and you can use your custom uh, uh, flake texture here okay and this looks like a raw metal uh, you can just check with uh, maybe not using the color here uh, sorry metallic and then use this one it looks uh, like some rusted object okay and just increasing the roughness you should be able to see that don't think that you're going to use this only for the metals you can think out of the box to achieve these cool looking patterns there then you have you have the scale issue here you can control the scale uh scale of uh, the grunge we have the brush intensity and the brush wrapping so there are two layers you could see clearly uh, now i'm moving the layer which is on the bottom and uh, you have uh, the brush uh, intensity again you can use the custom textures there and then you can also uh, use a triplanar mapping there so these are a set of uh, textures when you're looking for some character in the metal depth definitely this is a gopher i mean 